Like everybody that's homeless right now is a part of Skeleton Crew, working with uh, myself and Yahweh and Satan and, uh, you know, the, the Illuminati. Uh, unofficially, they have passed the torches to me to uh, allow me the opportunity to have, and uh, state officials now have as well, to offer me the opportunity to, uh, you know, as a historically reputable uh, creator myself, uh, have the opportunity to, like, clear the grounds and, like, swab the deck and begin anew as we, you know, exit a time of, of uh, you know, like, warfare and enter into, you know, what, what is life now. Are you talking, like, spiritual warfare? Uh, yes, like I mean like there's been like I mean like there's been like the holy wars, you know And uh, that's led to like some you know like intergalactic problems and uh, you know like it's been 45 peregrines of You know earth cycle existence that this has been going on out of 47 that uh, are project Lazarus related project Lazarus being uh, what uh, prompted my creation by the powers that be. It's called Project Lazarus? Yes, it's a 1969 United States federal government, police and associates for uh, political subdivision purposes. Uh, it's like they were, they were killing people and like dragging them out of their death stasis to try to create undead soldiers. And like to try to, like that's like, um, you know, the, that's like the solution process of that ha is what has, uh, you know, prompted the creation of the undead army. And there's a lot of there's a lot of misunderstanding about that because that's what they were going for, and uh, you know like, incidentally that has you know come into being because of because of this, but it's not due to what they've done. You know it's uh, because of Hades and Satan. You know like, offering us some salvation from like this uh, you know like otherwise just like you know uh, this otherwise perpetuating damnation that was just like completely unrighteous for innocent people to be going through you know like to offer some alleviation from that you know like we've uh you know been introduced we've been in like induced into immortality like incorrectly you know mm. where, i'm so curious where did you like study this and learn this from? uh i'm i'm lazarus like I, I became in response uh created by the powers that be uh which is an objective observation of the correctness of righteousness okay. as they are a non-personified ethos capacitated, you know, generalized, omnisciently operating, uh, you know, uh, powers that be as opposed to like, you know, a person's creation, yeah, you know, yeah. like a person responding um, okay. with compassion, you know, like uh, they don't, there's not a personified uh, ethos source for the powers that be. So, I mean, like that just is a, that gives us a point Blake uh, case in point for uh, the objective correctness of righteousness. So that's that's a nice observation to be able to have, you know. Interesting. So you uh, told me your name. You wanted me to call you Loki. So where does that name come from? Uh, I cr I that initiated with a uh, I initiated with the dark forest of uh, Niflheim. It's okay. a it's a place that is uh, being used. Uh, it, it was created in response to uh, the Lazarus disturbance and it's being used to uh, blend things through the greys so that we can move on to the next level of existence. You said the greys. Uh, through the grey, like G-R-A-E symbol, like it's like, uh, I, I, uh, I was looking at like what we were missing in regards to uh, moving things forth with uh, ending the paranormal entity crisis and uh, I came up with uh, gray matter, which is, you know, like, uh, it's a tenth element, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, the mudra is the reverse of, uh, there's water, and uh, I, and uh, there wasn't anything, you know, on the, on the reverse side of that, so uh, I came up with uh, gray matter, which uh, is, uh, you know, which we're using to blend things through the gray, uh, you know, to allow for, uh, you know, uh, shadow movability and you know like into the, into the light of what is yeah, which in is a not manner dark that matter it's gray matter well i mean like dark matter could be considered to be like an ethereally movable um element but i mean it could also be moved through gray matter it's kind of like it's a kind of a you know it's an in between sort of That's sort of thing you know like uh the movability itself, I would say you could use gray material means, but to uh, what you want to do specifically would be uh, like an ethereal process. So what, so with gray matter, what could you do? Uh, it's, uh, it's an element that you can use to uh, manifest things into being that uh, where you are, wherein you are limited through uh, simply ethereal, 
ethereally bending things. So manifest things such as? Like we are working with uh, the disturbance produced uh, soundless screaming equivalent in a non-space by uh, sentient beings. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like, the, uh, like when when killed and like drug out of death stasis, uh, that created you know like uh, traumatizing circumstances wherein there were residual energy impressions that were not in a technical space. Fascinating. Gotcha. So uh, that's where the Holocaust comes from, actually. Uh, is uh, a means to uh, get to the other side and have there be something by the time you know like have a way to bridge the gap. Yep. You know, like okay. uh, gray material. Uh, movement is a way that we're, you know, uh, filling in the missing links uh, in bridging the gap to people that are in that were trapped in non-space equivalents. Gotcha, gotcha. Fascinating, fascinating. Um, I want to keep talking about this, but let's back up because I want people to go. Oh, this is this is where this person is and how they grew up and where they're from. So, Lucky, where were you born and raised? I was born in Spokane, Washington. Gotcha. Um, uh, multiversally, we've bridged the gap to where I was, uh, to where I was born here, in this plane. But uh, I died when I was three years old. I got abducted from, or I didn't get really abducted. I was more so sold uh, into the intergalactic black market. Okay. Um, uh, when I was like three years old. In this plane, in this kind of, uh, what do we call it? This is theoretically where I went Dimension. when I died. Like, uh, no, because I don't, I don't have any, rem I don't have any memories prior to three. Okay. So, um, you know, it looks like this is where I where I went when I died, you know, so it's like uh, it was just like, a, you know, I I was on the clandestine ship, okay. um, which is an alien ship. And it, uh, you know, it was not, you know, like it was not suitable for like a three year old child to be like, you know, like uh, like that's not an acceptable place for for somebody in such a position to be. So, uh, you know, like this is like uh, what like Yahweh like threw together, so to speak, to, uh, you know, like. Gotcha. Uh, provide like the grounds for a righteous state of being yeah. um, and we've been expanding from here uh, I'm just, I'm to work on ending the paranormal entity crisis you know of people having non-righteous places to exist you gotcha. know uh, so in Spokane did you was there mom and dad and our brothers and sisters when you grew up uh, I grew up within as a part of like uh, like the United States military got involved like the United States government got involved and uh, you know I grew up as a part of like yeah I was in like an MK ultra house what, so what to speak MK? Um, MK ultra is like when they uh, when they saw me like reincarnating here as like I, I'm Lucifer uh, I, I started off as the uh, the Archangel um, Archangel of light and uh, you know like uh, I've since then uh, ascended to be the goddess and uh, this is like, you know, like they uh, they got involved with uh, they got involved with uh, with my upbringing, and in you know through the holy wars, uh, trying to like you know like uh, they were trying to like put me in a position, you know, so that cause they recognized uh, like everything, like this sort of started to be like the place of the hereafter, you know, gotcha. um, a place to uh, a place to be, gotcha. you know, uh, post life. Well, what do you remember about Spokane? Uh, it, it was a great place. Like I grew up in uh, in the realm of chaos, um, which was created by my mom Lilith, the first the first person mm -hmm. um, in this uh, creation experience. Yeah, yeah. And was your dad a part of, in that chaos as well? Uh, yeah, my dad actually um, from like I was uh, I was Mara Capone, and when I died and became this person, my dad uh, he came he came along with me, and uh, he's uh, he was my dad here. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And uh, took part in my upbringing from from that position, so like that was a huge blessing, yeah. you know, like you know to like have somebody like you know like uh, you know like through these like strenuous circumstances, you know, to have somebody that like you know like is like you know like he's a like top notch individual, you know, like he's like um, you know like he's a he's a great guy, you know, like a his he's uh, come grown to be kind of like a historical figure, you know, like uh, Al Capone, you know. Yeah. Um, Did so, you have any uh, brother or sister in that fa in that chaos in that family? As uh, well? Yeah, I've got uh, two sisters and a brother uh -huh. um, that I grew up with. Are they still in Spokane? Uh, I'm not. I'm not really sure where they're at right now with where we're at and things with like the like with the unveiling of people's like uh, positions and everything. You know, uh, regarding people's stations in people's households. You know, like uh, in respective households as like. 
people who have been involved due to warfare circumstances as opposed to uh, strictly familial circumstances. Gotcha, gotcha. So we're still like sorting that out. So I'm not sure where things will stand at that point, you know, so but uh, they've been a loving family. Like they've been yeah. great to me. So okay. I mean, like that's such a like blessed, fortunate thing, you know, like having like, you know, like I'm so grateful that we are, like, that we're like a species that has a God that has, that like, you know, like, sees to like his people's needs so diligently like oh my goodness it is such a it is such a blessing you know it is such a like reassuring thing you know um and and uh, are you still in touch with them uh yeah definitely uh, i mean like we're working things out right now in regards to like people um you know uh becoming their their final forms and everything and uh you know getting everything sorted out uh you know with the, the post-war ops you know uh looking at you know where we're going with uh making things stably uh sustainable gotcha, gotcha. so uh you went to high school and at one point some point you moved out of spokane to where and um what, and what age i guess the first time i left spokane uh was right before i graduated i moved over to uh to uh a place in Western Washington uh, into the Lakewood community for a couple weeks or a couple months or whatever, you know. I moved back uh, a couple weeks before graduation and I went to this alternative school called On Track where, uh, you know, they were, it was a really cool program where they uh, work with you based on your, like, uh, based on your uh, competency level, your understanding level of, like, you know, me meeting uh, agreeable qualifying standards of graduation as opposed to, like, did you show up every day, gotcha, like, gotcha. you know, like, so I just got to like take some tests and uh, write some essays and like, you know, prove that I was like at a graduating standard and they let me graduate on time and everything. Okay. So okay. that was awesome. And then after that, what did you do? Uh, after that, um, I've been, uh, you know, just working, uh, uh, working with, uh, you know, uh, Yahweh and other, uh, other leaders of uh you know like not just this world but of the intergalactic circuit to uh you know come to a standing of diplo diplomatic acceptability okay. in uh, our pro in our progressive proceeding gotcha. I'm, I'm so curious like how did you like start working in that realm or have you just always known or like when did that kind of transition happen well uh when the lazarus disturbance occurred uh, the first responder, the immediate first responder was Yahweh. He initially, uh, like he, uh, he was uh, walking amongst, he was walking with us like as a, you know, amongst, you know, a life on earth as a human, you know, like uh, amongst the kind that he created. And uh, he felt a disturbance in the force. And, uh, you know, he uh, ran into action and he uh, summoned forth one of the beings that the powers that be had, uh, had placed me as for this purpose, you know, so that there was somebody like summonable, you know, like he recognized that, that he needed, that you? he needed to, he needed help. They so I mean like, you? so uh, I came into being to like, you know, like provide like the, to be, to be that help, you know? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And like, that's how I became Lucifer. I was a knight uh, named Mary. Okay. And uh, I, I heard, I heard, uh, I heard like a voice uh, say to me like to, to run into the dark forest. Uh, Cause I started off in I started off as like multi, in multiple points in multiple positions so that I could come together into being one being that's qualified to uh, you know bring a solution forth from the disturbance gotcha. in the force that was gotcha. that uh, started and so due to Project now, Lazarus. Now we're in Seattle, and how did you get to Seattle, or when? Um, I was headed to Florida. Um, Why were you going to Florida? Uh, Yahweh sent me to Florida. Okay. Um, I didn't know at that time that that's that that's uh, that that's specifically how that happened. But uh, Archangel uh, Michael's uh, at the time President Standing uh, Representative Mickey L. Uh, he escorted me to uh, Portland, where uh, we got separated, and I ended up uh, crash landing there um, ultimately. Gotcha. And uh, you know that's led to. Uh, you know the uh revelations of you know like how we were like on a sacred journey and how uh things got how like there was a you know bump in the road due to the holy wars it looks like it was uh you know something like predestined by the powers that be like i'm gonna say that term like loosely because it it doesn't look like there was like you know a i don't know it, it's all come together in a manner like it needed to be this way the pacific northwest is idealistic is an idealistic location you know recognizing Portland, Seattle, and Spokane as uh, like trifecta 
of horse portal cities, you know. Uh, yeah, like triangle. Yeah, so I mean, like we we consider it like the land Bermuda totally. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, so like I mean, it looks like this was all meant to be, you know. So from Portland, you came up to Seattle. Yeah, uh, somebody just like asked me one day if I want like they were getting ready to go up to Seattle, and I was like, oh, I can't remember if they asked me or if I asked if I could go with them. But either way, like it led to me being here. What and how long have have you been in Ballard? Uh, I've been here for like uh, two years, I think. Okay, Not too good. approximately. And and tell me about your current situation. You are unhoused. Uh, presently, yes, just because uh, I summoned forth a skeleton crew. Uh, we got drop down to uh i i'm deadlocked in like I, i'm in a position where i cannot safely like as i cannot safely safely leave my body you know i can't um you know like the whole like beam me up scotty you know like we're uh you know like in a uh, in the rapture you know when uh people were when like the when beings of light were uh summoned to a source you know i was not able to uh depart when they were so uh, you know, like that's led to uh, this being a place that uh, is being continued to work with, you know, which is as opposed to a place that theoretically potentially would have needed to be resurfaced due to uh, the issues involving uh, residual energy entrapments and entanglements, you know, wherein people are being viewed by people that are in on one side of things to uh, to be no longer there. Uh, and just to be residual energy, yes. but uh, I've been identified to be one of these residual energy things. Uh, you know, uh, like I've been I've been viewed to be residual energy as well. Uh, to, to where like I'm you know like I'm a physical tangible person that you know like that's like you know just going about my day to day living my life and they're uh they're picking up uh paranormal energy readings from from like where I've been you know because. They'll, they'll they'll see a place and like there won't be you won't be able to observe that I'm in that place so they'll but they can observe that there's energy there so that people were going through and like trying to clear that energy out so it's like they're going through with like leaf blowers and other like you know like machinery like trying to like clear things out but it's like then there's this person behind the scenes that's like being impacted you know like yeah, yeah. that's just going about their business uh, this place is uh, it seems to be like inherent or innate response to people uh, you know, to a, to a people in general was to, uh, you know, like swallow them up to keep them when they're not like uh, prevalently, you know, part of like the storyline, so to speak. Like that's what happened uh, initially with Lilith, if I, if I may, uh, you know, uh, with, uh, you know, with uh, being like swallowed up uh, by the planet and, uh, you know, like brought back into life when, you know, like there's a, when there was a, an appropriate place for her to be able to just be, you know, you know, she was brought into existence to be. So, I mean, like, you know, having been like brought out of the immediate storyline, like you may have heard with the, uh, you know, like Adam and Eve, you know, uh, uh, when uh, she was like brought away from the immediate storyline, you know, like the Earth's uh, inherent uh, response to that was, oh, okay, well, like instead of you going off and like, you know, feeling like you're like, you know, like being like cast away, we'll like, we'll, uh, we'll just like swallow you up and like, you know, like uh, provide the grounds for you to be, you know, at another time and place so that you can like, so that, you know, so as to not feel like, you know, like, like cast off from like the uh, from like the storyline, so as to like recognize the actuality of like the uh, the individual's importance and of you know like independence in uh, importance of being, you know. So is Lilith somebody you're familiar with? And that was your is that your kind of earthly being person? Uh, that's uh, that's like somebody who uh, who is uh, like my mom. Okay. Gotcha. Like I've had like I've had like a, an abnormal experience in becoming because I, I wasn't I wasn't created out of like you know like two people's like love for each other initially you know I was created because out of necessity out of like uh, out of uh, correspondence to the objective correctness of righteousness. Loki, um, is there something that you'd want the people of Seattle to know? Uh. Through my time, I've observed that faith is something that without people are observably without something, you know, to, uh, to, observe some, to observe some source of good faith seems to provide people's lives with something that uh, we're missing otherwise. So I mean, like, it doesn't necessarily like have to be anything specific, but I would highly recommend looking into a source of good faith if you do not have one already.
Anything else you'd like to share? Uh, no. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to grab that little mic and then take some photos. I hear a lot of biblical...